92% of everything that moves on the planet moves by water. And last year, that came to just over 3 billion tonnes of cargo. With the economy of scale that shipping has, we're already performing well, but we need to do better. So the industry is actually facing its most condensed period of change that it's ever faced previously. Historically, the maritime sector has had a lot of inbuilt inertia. There is a reluctance to change. That cannot be maintained. How urgent is it? It's on the doorstep. It's here. It's now. We need people. I would like to call this a call to arms for people to get involved, be part of the process and hence the solution. Where are the fuels going to be made? How are they going to be transported to the ports, to the quay? How are they going to be pumped on board the ship? That's the bigger question. And that infrastructure question is nowhere close to being resolved. How do we build a structure now that safeguards a third engineer in 20 years time on a then old ammonia fueled ship that when he performs maintenance on the fuel system, does so safely. One of the opportunities will be designing and enabling a global carbon capture system. Another will be the alternative fuels. So there are always new innovations that need the three-legged approach from the scientists, technologists, and engineers. And it is a cohesive effort across those that will bring the rewards. IMRST is a united home for the marine professional community. It has to be a united approach. After 35 years of membership with the IMRST, I found the biggest advantage, apart from keeping abreast of developments within the industry, was the peer networking. The discussions between peers really helps to build that cross industry knowledge and network that can be so instrumental in helping define a career. Good ideas can come from anywhere. Innovation can start with a simple conversation. So what I really want to say is get involved. Be part of the changes. Own the changes. And then we can change the world. <laughs>